Very good evening, friends. So I hope you are all safe and healthy. Well, in this particular month, I have been discussing the aspects of uh, cash flow statement as per India 7. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk in terms of the treatment of foreign currency cash flows. India 7, you can say, can be linked up with the provisions of India 21. And let's find out in detail what do the relevant paras on India 7 talk about this. जो बच्चे CA final की अपनी group की तैयारी plan कर रहे हैं, उनके लिए इस वक्त an academy पर अच्छी offers चल रही हैं। आप अगर plus subscriptions के अंदर six months का plan लेते हैं, तो उस पर आपको one month extra मिलेगा। Twelve months पर आपको two months extra मिलेंगे, और twenty four months पर आपको three months extra मिलेंगे। और जब आप subscription plan करते हैं, तो इसके अंदर आपको ten percent discount भी मिलेगा। मेरा कोड इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं CAKB10 ये ऑफर केवल लिमिटेड पीरियड के लिए अवेलेबल है 22nd और 23rd मार्च यानी कि कल और परसों ये ऑफर्स CA फाइनल ग्रुप 1 और ग्रुप 2 में और अगर आप दोनों ग्रुप्स प्लान कर रहे हैं तो इस पर आपको 12 मंथ्स पर 2 मंथ्स एक्स्ट्रा और 24 मंथ्स पर 3 मंथ्स एक्स्ट्रा मिलेंगे और याद रखिए ये आपके प्लान सिर्फ दो दिन तक आपको ये एडिशनल मंथ्स मिलेंगे दैट इज 22nd एंड 23rd ऑफ मार्च यानी 23rd रात 12 बजे तो प्लान कीजिए और एग्जाम्स को क्रैक कीजिए लेट्स क्रैक इट देयर इज पैरा नंबर 25 व्हिच आई कोट अनकोट एंड इट सेज कैश फ्लोस अराइजिंग फ्रॉम ट्रांजैक्शंस इन अ फॉरेन करेंसी शैल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द एंटिटीज फंक्शनल करेंसी by applying to the foreign currency amount the exchange rate between the functional currency and the foreign currency at the date of the cash flow. Well, I think if you look at the uh, insights in terms of Indus 21 as well, it always talks of recording a transaction at a spot rate. So basically, when there is going to be a cash inflow or outflow in a foreign currency, we need to translate that in terms of functional currency by applying the rate which is prevailing on the date of cash flow. In fact, on this, we'll also like to make a mention regarding what is given in terms of para number 27. Para number 27 says the cash flows which are denominated in a foreign currency are reported in a manner which is consistent with Indus 21. That means that when you look at Indus 21, it allows you to use an, you can say, a rate which is supposed to be an average rate if it approximates the actual rate. That means we could take a weighted average exchange rate and we could apply that rate to all the transactions in that particular period. Then it also adds on that in this particular case, Indus 21 does not permit the use of an exchange rate at the end of the reporting period when translating the cash flows of a foreign subsidy. But I think in a nutshell, what I like to put in is that if you've got foreign currency cash flows, the entity is you know, got a choice in terms of either applying a rate on the rate of cash flow, or if you can say that there are no major fluctuations in the exchange rate, the use of a weighted average rate for a particular period is also permissible. That's all in this particular video. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.